Welcome back to the underground lava city. Uh, a lava city which is inhabited by weird egg carrier monster thingies and also uh, a number of demons over there who we're going to try to dispose of in short order. So we're actually going to trace a somewhat familiar path back over here along the edge because I'm extremely curious as to whether perhaps we can clear out a few of them with our bow and or arrows uh, before we go too much further because I would greatly prefer to uh, be able to take them out remotely versus getting up close and personal. So I feel like this is a decent vantage point. Now I'm going to get ready to flee because I would not put it past them at all to have some sort of ranged attack. Well, I got their attention, certainly. I don't know if it did any damage. Huh. Either we're not doing damage, or we're just too far away to... ...see what their health bar looks like. Let's maybe get a bit closer. I think this outcropping here on the right might do what we're looking for. Let's see, where'd they go? Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, well that... that didn't work. Alright, well he's gonna come up and try to attack me. Oh, yikes. Okay, well... That did, what, five damage? Let me just verify that that wasn't a fluke. Yeah, five damage. I don't think it's... his health bar went down hardly at all. Uh, <laughs> well, that answers that. Which means we're going to have to do it the, uh, the old-fashioned way. Which is either run past them, or try to take them on uh, 1v1. So, why don't we head down there? Let's see, are they walking back to their previous locations? The arrows might still be an okay idea to try to get them to come, um, come face me one at a time. That part might still be a decent plan. I don't relish the thought of fighting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them all at once. But I mean, I guess we can uh, at least start off uh, by taking a look around. There's something over there that seems interesting. We're getting a nice uh, exfoliant for the bottom of our feet. You know, pumice stone, which is volcanic rock, I believe, is actually really good for uh, really smoothing out the calluses on the bottom of your feet. So, you know, in comparison to places we've been, this is practically like a spa day for us. So, you know, could be worse. It's always about finding the silver lining in, in things. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. Uh, we know you. Oh, shoot. We know you. Weren't you a boss for before? Alright, well... Okay, not great. Alright, we're doing damage. Let's heal up. I think we could take him. He doesn't have his little uh, dog friends. Oh, okay. Alright, whiff.
Wait for him to do his big slam attack. One. Two. And... I thought there was a combo where he did like a third, like, big heavy attack. Okay. We'll just keep orbiting him like the moon orbits the earth. Okay, good. Ooh, nice. Nice one. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Oh, nice one. Alright. Not too shabby. Oh, and all we got with it were these lousy souls. Well, that's fine. Well, that does give me a bit more confidence. Uh, going into this. I mean, it's pretty brutal that we're already to the point where the people that <laughs> we faced as bosses before are now, like, normal enemies. It's kind of rough. But, we, we beat them. No, uh, no harm really done to us. Maybe a, just a little bit of damage, but nothing we can't overcome. Oh man, there's more of them. Oh man, there's a lot more of them. <laughs> Oh, man. So, what are we... Oh, boy. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, sure. I don't know. What do we want to do? Do we want to just try to bring them in one by one? Yeah, six damage. Why are arrows doing so little damage? Is it be It's not because they're super high level. Because I... I don't think they are. Yeah, this is not an efficient way to... And they also really don't care that I'm shooting at them. Which is... Okay. It's probably the, the huge range. Like, we're getting a bit closer, and the closer we get, the more damage we're actually doing. 20. I still feel like we're going to run out of arrows. There we go. Now he sees us. Yep. Come on. No, 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 no. I want you to. I want you to stay with me. Yeah, come on over. Yeah. This way. If only I had some sort of way to kind of pull him off the cliff. Or I push him off the cliff. Oh, wow. That was a total whiff. Okay. Oh. Well, at least he gets staggered somewhat easily. Alright. Good. No, 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 no. Come on. Look, I'm just gonna keep shooting you. Uh oh. Oh, yikes. That was almost bad. I'm trying to, like, stay close enough to him that he still wants to attack me, but not so close that I get his little buddy to come with me. Good thing that his animation to wind up actually takes a decent amount of time. Arrow looks good in you, bro. Oh, come on. Yikes. So are these guys going to respawn every time is my question? Like, let's say I die here. We're not going to die, but let's just pretend for a second that we did. Uh oh, that was almost really bad. He really doesn't like the fact that I have an arrow. So, if I go up here... Interesting. Like, he can clearly see that I have an arrow. Oh, whiff. He's just moonwalking back to his... ...location. 
Come on. Come fight me. Oh, headshot. Nice. I'll take some more of those. 31. Oh, cool. All right. It's your turn. Oh, he does not like that. If I get a certain number of headshots in a row, will that kill them? Or... I mean, other other than obviously working down like the damage bar the normal way. There's nothing special about... Uh... Yeah, I guess not. Well, this is fine. 25 damage each time is actually a decent amount. I think I can afford to get a tiny bit closer. There we go. 28 damage now. We definitely want to save up to, uh, for some more arrows, because this is actually kind of nice. Just having a little bit of a break. And also, if we could upgrade our short bow, or uh, better yet, find something that's better than a short bow, then that would allow us to be a lot more efficient with our arrows. I mean, arrows are pretty cheap, but I would still... You know, prefer not to uh, have to use, what, like 30 of them to take down an enemy, if at all possible. Alright, that's that. Oh, that was a waste. Alright, there's one, two, three more that I can see. There's probably another one down there if I were a betting man. Alright, what is this? Try jumping down there. Oh, yikes. Well, I could. However, let's see what this guy's deal is. Okay. Is there a way that I can... Does this thing even have a head? Is that a head in the front right here? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Is that something that we've seen before? I feel like this is going to take most of our arrows. If we do this. If we keep going down this path. Alright. If I shoot you here, are you going to come get me? No, you're just happy to stay where you are. That's so strange that it seems like their uh, attack volume or whatever you want to call it, like their their aggro meter is pretty limited. I mean, if it was me and I was getting sniped by a bunch of arrows by somebody I could presumably see. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's a thing like they can't see directly in front of them because their eyes are on the side of their head. Isn't that a thing for some animals? Like, that's why they turn their heads. Like, birds or something? Like, they have eyes that are more oriented on the sides of their heads. Or maybe it's like reptiles. I don't know. I'm not a zoologist. Alright, we've got... 80-ish arrows left. I mean, this is kind of peaceful, actually. Considering all the craziness that we went through in Blight Town, this is somewhat uh, therapeutic, I guess. We'll just have a nice ASMR shooting arrows at the heads of demons. Pulling the arrows back one by one, letting them fly. Yeah, alright, good stuff. Another one bites the dust. Two more to go. 25. Well, that guy in the back moved. I'm keeping an eye on him. I guess the... Um, on the bright side, once we clear these guys out and get whatever treasure they may be guarding then we probably don't have to fight them again. Let's say we, we jump down and we fight and lose versus that big, uh, 
what is it, like a bull or whatever it is down there. Uh, we should just be able to kind of drop down in the future. Wow, so I bought, uh, the last time we bought arrows, we bought about 150. I'm starting to think even that wasn't nearly enough, just because of how useful they're coming in handy. Almost there. Okay. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Alright, he sees me, and I see him. Oh, 33. Nice. Oh, he did not like that. Okay. Let's retreat strategically. Are you still chasing me? Mm, not quite. Alright. This guy, I feel like we can take 1v1. Let's go. I don't want to accidentally... Whoops. That one's on me. Come on. Nice. Nice little hop. Let's go. Yeah, they're so strange in the way that they, when they choose to aggro and when they choose just to retreat. Ooh, okay. One more. Oh, shoot. Heal up again. Alright, come on. One more should do it. Oh, come on. That was sloppy. A sloppy finish to an otherwise pretty decent uh, farming expedition. So I'm guessing these guys just do respawn because they're just kind of like your typical 800 soul mooks at this level. So if we do need to come farm for souls, this is actually a decent place to, from which to do it. Okay, so there is stuff down there. I'm worried about that. Maybe we go back to the bow. Whoops, I always do that. Okay. Ugh, we're only doing 11 though. That is not ideal. Is there a way for us to drop down somewhat more safely? Oh, yikes, I did not see that guy. Whoa, where did you come from? What's your deal? Okay. I mean, that works, sure. But I'm more worried from the perspective of I don't know where they came from. Oh, there's another demon down there. Uh... Anybody hiding behind the pillars? Oh, and there's like a... Oh yeah, there's a few of these little gargoyle... Whatever these are. Very interesting. Just don't let them get an attack off. Oh, almost killed him. Retreat. Retreat again. Okay, two for one deal. Love it. Alright, how many more of them? There's two down there. Let's grab this. 
Soul of a Proud Knight. Love it. Now that guy over there. If I shoot from here. Still 11, huh? I don't... I don't, uh... Feel real great about this. But I want whatever he's guarding. What's his peripheral vision like? That's my question. Oh! Yikes, pretty good. Pretty good peripheral vision. Oh, and there's a bonfire underneath him. You see that right there? Okay, well, fine. If you're gonna be like that, what if I shoot you at literally point-blank range? 17? You know what? I'm gonna do it. I think it's worth it. So the closer I get, the better the damage output is. Are headshots a thing with you? Oh, waste. Okay. I think it's probably worth it just to be able to get a bonfire. Today's episode is brought to you by Archery. Archery, keep your enemies at a distance. Man, we have just enough arrows, I think, to uh, clear the to clear out this uh, this issue. But my worry is that once we rest here, all the demons upstairs are going to uh, to respawn. But that might be the sacrifice that we have to make. Praise the sun. Yes, indeed. Should we rest? Yeah, I think so. Are all those uh, Capra demons going to respawn? Probably, but... it is. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. So we're 4,000 souls away from leveling up. I would be okay with maybe grabbing an extra level while we've got some uh, currency. So let's see. Soul of a Proud Knight. If we use two of those, I think. It was 11,286. Whoops, not there. Uh, oh, we're just a bit short. So, what is the... What is the smallest denomination of souls that we have? We have a soul of a lost undead, which is, what, 200, I want to say? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, we'll throw that in endurance. Okay. Man, our equipment load is looking pretty great. Um, so I finally, by the way, while we're on the subject, I feel like I, f I finally understand this whole soft versus hard humanity thing. Let me let me verbalize it, and you can let me know if I if I have characterized this correctly. So the number in the upper left hand corner that will go up periodically based on killing certain enemies, but it will only stick around for as long as you are alive. So let's say I've got two humanity in the upper left-hand corner in my soft counter. That means that that's basically free humanity for me to use uh, before I die. So in, in that instance, in the situation where I had two humanity, I would maybe want to use one to reverse hollow myself, and then the second one to kindle the bonfire, because, you know, you may as well use it, right? Because if you die, then all of that goes away. That's kind of the way I'm interpreting that. Uh, and then the humanity that's in our inventory is, you know, humanity that sticks with us even after we die, because it's an item. Uh, and we might want to be a little bit more... Um, uh, circ not circumspect, but more, you know, have a have a higher decision criteria of when to use that humanity in our inventory. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. That's kind of how I'm interpreting this. 
So, doesn't really apply to us right at this specific moment because we have no humanity in our inventory, but... Okay, do I want to maybe peek upstairs to see if those guys are around? Oh, I did not see you right there. Can I do a... Oh, that didn't work. I just want to peek up there. I don't want to go too far up because I don't want to aggro anybody, but... Yes, yeah, it looks like they res they've respawned. But that's fine. I mean, they're welcome to. Okay, well, we've got another fire demon. Ooh, quite a few of them, actually. But on the bright side, I mean, we've... We've uh, just hit the bonfire. We've used most of our souls, so it's not a big deal. Oh, weapon at risk. That's not good. That is super duper not good. Which means we're only doing, like, a very, very small amount of damage. Oh, yikes. Well, that's also the worst. Oh, no. Wow. Well... This is a little bit of a problem, because, um, we do not want this weapon to break, because it's really uh, our bread and butter at the moment. Alright, oh, I should have, that's on me, I should have switched it up earlier. Alright, let's go ahead and get this guy down. Oh, I don't like that sound. That's the sound of... ...not having a... ...healthy weapon. Okay, let's hide behind here real quick. So I guess in this situation, I just want to switch to something that will give me some kind of damage. As not good as it might be. Uh, what am I looking at? Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're down to 146 there. 117, 158, so the Halberd might be okay. The Lucerne is also good as well. Yeah, okay. We can, um... Guess it doesn't really matter, huh? Guess we can rock the... Oh, we... Yeah, hold with both hands to use effectively. That's what we would do anyway. Here we go. So now... Our... What is our... White rep... Uh, right weapon, 158. Yeah. Okay, well, we still might be okay with this. Let's try it out. Let's see what kind of damage we're dishing. Ooh, I like the pokey pokiness of it. It's definitely not quite as good as our Great Axe in terms of sheer damage output, but... Sloppy on my part. Yeah, it's gonna take a while forever to get through these guys. Okay, let's take down these last two fellas. guys. Let's keep going. I really do like its range, though. Being able to 
keep things kind of at a distance. It's actually extremely nice. I want to keep in mind how close I get so I don't get any other unwelcome visitors. I also want to try out its heavy attack. Maybe we'll do it this time, just to see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Alright, well, this is a little bit of an issue. So what exactly is he guarding? Is it a fast travel to somewhere <laughs> good? <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going to find out, huh? Come on, big fella. Let's tango. I wonder if I could even just run past him. Oh, yikes. Not like that, I can't. Come on, get up. Wow. That stagger, it literally took me like five full seconds to stand up. By which time I was a paste on the ground. Alright, we're going to go for it. I don't think there's a whole lot to be gained by... Um, by uh, dealing with these guys. I guess maybe this one we'll take out. Oops. I did not mean to dodge in that direction. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Okay, and this guy. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on here. Okay, come on, come on. Run, 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 run. Traverse sealed by the Great Lord's power. Okay, well... That's good to know, I guess. Thanks a lot, Great Lord. <laughs> okay, so that didn't work. But it's fine. It gives us uh, options. there more stuff going on down there? I don't think so. This guy's just going to be a little bit of an annoyance for us. Okay, well... Man, those guys are extremely tough. I almost wonder, would it be worth it just to... backtrack and... try to get to, um... back up to the Firelink Shrine some way, somehow? I mean... It's a huge pain, because we've got to run all the way through Blight Town, unless there's some kind of shortcut that we have not discovered yet, you know? So I think we're a little bit underleveled to fight these guys. I don't know, we'll try one more time to maybe get him to... Oh, well, we got to take these guys out, too. have a little bit of a better range. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this guy to come tango with us. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the Taurus demon. I didn't even recognize him. Well, I recognize him from... from that. Oh, man. 
We're in a load of trouble. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can hit us from from downtown. Okay, we might have to rethink what we're doing here. I've had some time to think about it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna pull the plug on this area. I don't think that we are meant to be here is kind of what I'm picking up uh, at this level. Just the mere fact that we've gotten bosses as regular enemies now <laughs> is pretty nuts. So here's my plan. I'm gonna go run and basically uh, retrace our steps all the way back to Quelag's domain and then continue on through that to uh, Blight Town. Uh, because I did want to finish clearing Blight Town anyway. And I figure that might be a, as good an opportunity as any, just to sort of get out, uh, get get out back over there, and um, hopefully, maybe we'll even run into a merchant or another armorer or something that can kind of take a look at our weapon. But in any case, I'm gonna go ahead, and it's probably just gonna be a lot of sprinting and dying to get back to uh, to Quelag's area. But I will do that on my own, and then bring you back when I've successfully got there, and then we can take a look at Blightstown together. So I'll see you in a second. And we're back. Home sweet home. Or swamp sweet swamp, anyway. So, uh, just sort of surveying the scene from where we are up here. There is obviously something right there in front of us we'd like to pick up. There's also some kind of interesting elevator of some sort over there I wouldn't mind checking out. So that's kind of my thought. Let's let's try to be systematic. Oh, there's these rock thrower guys. Um, maybe we'll stay as far left as possible because I don't think we've been over on this side of this uh, little promontory area. Let's just see what's going on. And then uh, make our way over to... Um... First of all, that's soul, and then second of all, the, uh... Oh yeah, well, we're gonna get... We're gonna get dropped in the sauce no matter what, so there's no way getting around that. We're gonna be poisoned. But it's fine, we've got ten flasks, so... It is what it is. A large titanite shard, that's really nice, actually. And then, where exactly was... That elevator? Here it is. And how do we get onto it? I guess we've got to go back up here. Yeah, this looks promising. Okay. Uh, maybe. Hang on. I guess we've got to climb up the ladder first. Uh, I also realized going through my inventory, I do actually have some moss for... But it's like, I don't know if I should use it, because it's it seems like it's a little bit more valuable. It's this, um... Where was it? Reduces poison and toxin. I guess I'm just going to use one this time. I don't know. It just seems like it's extra super duper valuable. So I don't want to... Oh, that's actually really nice for getting rid of those guys. Um, alright, well... What's the pattern? Okay. Okay. Stay on. Stay on. Okay. Let's just see where our magical elevator ride takes us. Alright. Can't get off there. Okay. Perfect. Oh, what is that? Oh. Wow, that guy is good at uh, dodging. Come on. How are you literally going to dodge all of my attacks? How is that in the slightest bit fair? There we go. Jeez, man. Okay. We need, like... 
I don't know, a little cave entrance or another ladder or What are we do what are we doing here? Oh here it is. Okay, this looks promising. This looks promising. Alright, there's this guy back here. I'm just gonna try to take this guy down, and then we'll worry about this mosquito thing. Good. What's back here? Oh, shoot. Okay, let's not deal with whatever that is. <laughs> let's just keep going up for the moment. And then we can always double back and, uh... And re-attack. Re Where are you? I see, I see you. Oh, I see, I see you. Oh, toxic. Okay, fine. Let's use one of our things here. Oh, shoot. Where is that guy coming from? Alright, hang on. Let's get behind here real quick. Let's use one of our items. Sure. Oh, man. That was a lot of uh, damage right there. No, I don't want to do this. Escape. Alright, heal. Heal again. Alright. Be wary of poison. Yeah, no kidding. Where's the guy that was shooting at us? Oh, hang on. Oh, they're just all over the place here. Alright, down they go. Let's go ahead and get our uh, poison reacclimated. Okay, there's another one. Another one bites the dust. at least one to two more of them somewhere. They're down there. Okay, I see. Let's just... Uh, I don't really think we need to be down there right now, right? Oh, there's another ladder here. Let's go ahead and keep let's keep going up for the moment. Just cuz I'm curious if maybe this will lead back to the surface at some point. And I would really like to not have to go all the way back through Blight Town and all the other shenanigans. Nice. This halberd is actually kind of growing on me a little bit. Not going to lie. Uh, it's not leveled at all, so... I feel like it could actually be something pretty helpful. Alright, nothing helpful here. Uh-oh, I'm not even gonna look. Ooh, chest. Hello. Key to New Londo Ruins. Uh, I thought that they mentioned something about that. Um, the guy who was sitting next to us in the at the uh, at the Firelink Shrine, I thought he he had mentioned New Londo. Uh oh, where's this guy again? Well, that's not good. That's also not good. That's also not good. That's the worst. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. All right. Well. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to run us back to that point. And if and when we get back to the sky, then we'll... <laughs> I'll bring you back in. How about that? Alright, let's go ahead and take another run at the sky. 
I wonder if maybe, uh... We can go ahead and pull him out. Let's go like so. Get a sneaky bit of damage in on him. There we are. Oh, what was that? Oh, we've got some, uh, some mosquitoes. And we've got this guy. Well, that's not great. Okay. You know what? We're not even going to worry about this guy at all. Does he have a buddy back here? Probably. They seem to like pairs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Not even going to stress. No stress, no stress. Let's go. Only good. Shortcut, question mark? Let's hope it's not a question mark. Let's hope it's a definite yes. Alright, I, I would like to think that they've stopped following us at this point. Okay, we've got a few different ways we can go. I am encouraged by the fact that we're no longer in swampy uh, terribleness. Ooh, what is this? Ah, the key to New Londo Ruins. Which are up? Oh, which are down. That sounds like a new area to me, and it doesn't sound like one I particularly want to take on right now. Because my goal, of course, is to uh, get back to Firelink, if at all possible. Imminent dead end. That's okay with me. I just wanna... Just wanna look. Alright. Trust but verify. It's my, my motto. So... Alright. No problem. We'll just keep going along this, uh... Cliff face here. Let's hope this sketchy bridge holds. Okay, it does. Try dashing through. Uh-oh. Is this an enemy right here that's going to try to chomp us? This kind of looks like a Venus flytrap type situation. I'm not even going to pause to... Oh, well, maybe I will. Hang on. Oh, is this a dragon? Am I going to regret picking this up? I feel like this thing is going to spring to life at any second. So, yep. Okay. Alright, dash. Let's go. Let's go. We're not way stopping to wait around. Holy cow. I knew it. I could, I could tell. I could tell by the way things that were, were positioned that it was a trap. <laughs> Alright, that might be another candidate for, uh, for bow and arrow extermination here. Oh, man. What is the- what are these guys? Like, what's their deal? Oh, yikes. That- I- Okay. Not able to dash through them, apparently. Or I, I can, but I would just mistimed. Alright, well... Man, we're all the way back down here again, huh? Alright, I'll bring you back once I get to the dragon area. All I wanted to get is to Firelink, man. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask? Okay, and we're back. I'm just gonna top off real quick after getting a poisoned out the wazoo. As is normal. We're just going to dash by. Alright, fortunately he just seems to want to spew some kind of breath weapon at us. As opposed to an uh, actual claw attack, which would be more challenging. However, I am extremely worried about these guys down here. But, uh... All we can do is just try to... 
Roll past. Yeah. I don't know, man. Come on. Oh, wow. And it still kills us in one go? What the hell, man? Oh, that is awful. Okay, so here's my thought. Those dragons are extremely challenging uh, with my limited roll capability, apparently. So here's what I'm thinking. New L Londo Ruins is down there. I don't know. It sounds like it's going to be a, even a more advanced level type place. However, with a new area, typically comes a merchant. So here's what I want to do. Let's just poke our head down there. Find a merchant. Maybe grab... Hopefully they sell arrows. Just grab a ton of arrows. We'll run back. Try to maybe use our range capabilities to uh, take out... Probably not the big dragon. He's actually surprisingly not really an issue. Uh, we'll, we'll use our capabilities to take out the little dragons. And then from there, uh, hopefully find a way to get back to, uh, to Firelink. So... Doesn't really look like a place where merchant would be, but you never know. Oh, I don't even see these guys down here. At least they these are like the smaller type of individuals who die pretty quickly. Okay, so we came from there. Let's try taking a look in here first. It's tower. Anything over here? No. All right, merchant, merchant. Pull lever. Okay. I'm nervous. Oh. Where does that lead to? Okay. I mean, sure. Maybe there's a merchant up here. Maybe he's kind of like at the top of the tower, uh, surveying this whole area. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> what? How? Oh, what? Okay, well, we... Uh, we came looking for a merchant, but we got something even better. Whoa. Man, it's, it's super cool. On a black eye orb. We'll take a look at that in a second. It's super cool seeing how all these little uh, areas kind of fit together. Try kicking this thing. Dead. How do I how do I kick again? Hang on. Uh kicking. Kicking. It's like shift plus something or other. Uh 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 jump action. I honestly don't remember how to do it. No, nope, that's our strong attack. Let's block. Let's roll. We roll into here. Huh. Well, anyway, we'll come back to it. Maybe I'll remember how to kick. But, uh, oh, wow. I didn't even see this tunnel. Has this tunnel, has this staircase always been here? And I just have never, uh... Wait, what? Firekeeper is absent? Cannot light bonfire? Well, where's the firekeeper? What the heck, man? 
I came all the way back here. <laughs> oh no. Uh, maybe the... Did you see what, what happened? Did you ring the second bell? Yeah, that sure did. Incredible, I must say. But now, we have a new problem. Yeah, you don't say. It snores, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. You're not, not talking about me, are you? <laughs> That's stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. Well, this is terrible. I have no idea how to find a fire keeper like whatever okay well this is a good spot to maybe take a break it's both a, a win and a loss I guess we made it back up from blight town I really need to find a bonfire though because I would not want to make that run all the way again so when we come back I guess we've got a little mystery on our hands now don't we we've got to figure out where the fire keeper is. Maybe we'll talk to a few of our NPCs who are scattered around here, see if they have any advice for us, and see if maybe we can relight this fire. I sure hope so. Uh, but with that, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.